Hello everyone and welcome back to Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow. This is episode 5. Last time we were trailing Sedono to tap into his phone to listen to his daily phone call just to check that he's all good because he feels that he's bulletproof and technically right now he is but he's not immune to some good stealth and we're going to get into it now. We're going to the next mission which is Komodo in Indonesia. Let's see what's lying in wait for Sam Fisher in this mission. The WWNA and World News Media. To outright mockery of the U.S. military's inability to either capture or kill Suwadi Sadano, the guerrilla leader has appeared on the front lines of nearly every major. being sold over the internet and have become popular across the world. <laughs> Even their wearers, the Sadano merch. <laughs> unsure whether or not irony is. I mean, it seems like we went to war without declaring anything, and a war we're kind of losing. I don't know what's... Bringing the smallpox vaccination death toll to six. Still no word from government officials regarding... I love the, the news segments. The news segments are so good. <laughs> it's just such a good way to make the world feel so, like, alive, you know? And bringing, like... Bringing sort of the the outside world looking into the events of the story instead of it feeling very self-contained. Like it's like, here's how it like is affecting like the world at large. And I think that's really cool. So the Komodo shipyard infiltrate the submarine. Oh, it's a submarine mission. So no knows Pandora tomorrow phone call is being forwarded through an encrypted relay in the communication system of a submarine docked in a supposedly abandoned shipyard. Infiltrate the submarine and access the communication system to further trace the call. Now we've done a submarine mission in the original Splinter Cell game. There was a uh, Zvelka submarine infiltration. So we're revisiting the submarine environment in the sequel. Let's see how similar it plays out. We are still in the jungle though. So we're, I guess we're heading to the submarine, which would make sense. You're just about in position. Right. I see the abandoned, but where's the shipyard? Underground. The dock was made for submersibles. Okay. Uh, we're just getting chucked right in. Infiltrate the caves. And that's it. <laughs> Infiltrate the caves, baby. Um, we got gear. Just checking to see if there's tripwires or mines in the grass. Movement. I need a ground check in my sector. Sure it's oh. not another bird has? It's all right. I'll take a look. Holy shit. <laughs> I love that, like disturbing the birds and they'll go and check it out. Um, looks like I can go through here. Wait, wait, oh, wait. Ah, oh, I cannot go through. Yeah. Never mind. This is where proning would just really come in handy. Wish I could go prone. We just gotta time. Oh, hang on, I can go... Hang on, I'm silly. Wait a minute. This is a... Intruder! I spotted an intruder! Copy that! That is a curtain. For some reason I thought that that was closed, and then I just saw it moving in the wind. I had my perfect opportunity to go and slip right in there, and I just You're didn't... Just about in position. ...recognize it as a abandoned. doorway. Movement. I need a ground check in my sector. Sure it's not another bird, has? It's all right. I'll take a look. Yeah, for, yeah, looking at that, it just looked like it was closed to me. That's so silly. Okay. Let's try this again. There you go. That's what I... I should have just done that immediately. <laughs> Need to be more observant. Okay. Let's just pretend that didn't happen. It's 
very dark here. Okay. These snipers aren't making it easy. Because I, I feel like the snipers are going to have some sort of night or thermal vision, most likely. So... You'd... You'd want to be in the light for the... for the... for them, right? Because they wouldn't be able to see you. Similar to that very first mission. But I think it's probably safer just to try and avoid... <laughs> I think it's probably safer to try and avoid the laser entirely. So we got seen even though the the laser sight wasn't on us, but it kind of like zapped to us. So I, I'm assuming that they must have night vision or thermal along those lines. So it makes it, it makes it quite interesting. And we are dead. We have been sniped. Um, I wonder if we can take them out. You're just about ourselves. in position. Right. I see the abandoned, but where's the shipyard? Underground. The dock was made for submersibles. No, oh, it's just on an automated... Oh, is it... Hang on. Is it even a manned thing, or is it automated? That's, that's looking very automated to me, actually, which means chaff grenades would be would be the go, but we only have one. So we really want to be sure about using it. Movement. I need a ground check in my sector. Sure it's not another bird, has? It's alright. I'll take a look. So we really just need to kind of time the movement a bit better. Did not get that dude's attention at all. I'm scared <laughs> to approach this laser. I feel like we might be able to just sneak past these ones in the dark standing there. But the laser sight is stressing me. The fact, mm, yeah, because he's standing right at this door that's lit up. <sighs> I do have. A, I'm gonna shoot him in the head with the airfoil round, just to get him to stop looking at me. <gasps> Alarm stage one. Sam, don't be detected. I've taken, I've taken the hit on that. Because they're going to see me anyway. I should have held on to that can. Oh god. I should have held on to that can for a distraction. So I'm paying for that. If I shoot that gas canister there, do you think that's going to, like, explode? Because it's on fire? That would make for a pretty cool distraction, don't you think? Because it would be like... You know, it shouldn't set off any suspicions. It'd be like, oh fuck, we, we shouldn't leave the gas tank next to the fire, should we? You know? I'm gonna try it. Actually, I'm gonna try it with the pistol because it's quieter. You must be elsewhere. I'm under fire! Okay, didn't work. Ah, oh, it didn't, yep, it didn't work. It didn't work. Security. I failed, I failed. <laughs> An experiment was made there, and it was a failed experiment. But you could see the intention there. You're just about you know? in position. You could see right. the intention there. I need a ground check in my sector. Sure, it's not another bird. Hat? Like shoot. It's all right. I'll take a look. Shooting a gas canister near a um, a fire, you know, make a bit of a leak, makes a bit of an explosion, you know. You never, you never know how that's gonna go. Intruder! 
Why did that guy have to just turn around so weirdly? <laughs> You're just about in position. Movement. I need a ground check in my sector. Sure it's not another bird, has? It's all right. I'll take a look. This time we're gonna hold on to the objects that we pick up. And I will use it when I get to the door. Then when we throw it, we throw it here. I hear something. And we're through, baby. Now in terms of this one, I'm just going to potentially just ignore them instead. I, do, I actually am quite a little bit annoyed by how the night vision goggles work in this game, because yes, they allow me to see much more, but also at the same time it blurs my... Uh, it blurs the distance and it, and it kind of frustrates me. It's like, I already need glasses, dude. I don't need you blurring my vision. <laughs> And then this is just useless unless you're like right up close and specifically need to detect mines. So it's like... It might be a... The, the annoying part about that is like it makes me just want to like do this. Just for everyone at home. Maybe a bit more contrast there as well. But even then that makes no difference. <laughs> like it just makes the blacks lighter. It doesn't fill in the gaps because the way that the lighting works in this game is actually very very good. Um, and I actually, I actually love it. I'll turn the brightness up to 60, at least. But like, it, it doesn't change much. I just wish that the night vision didn't blur the distance and then I think it would feel kind of perfect for me. Like, it still is quite uncomfortable for me to look at. Mans is sleeping. Okay, I'm, ass I'm assuming we're going through this door over here. Oh, do you reckon that guy might... Oh, I wonder if we can be seen by those people. Oh, that looks like a st oh, that looks like a stealthy pathway that we can take actually. Hold on. Ooh, let's try that. This is going under the assumption that the that we might get seen under the moonlight by the people at this by the dude at this table. But if we go around uh, this way. Can we go under here? We can. Dude, I thought I was being so clever. I'm underneath a fucking doghouse. Oh my god, dude. Why do I have to be underneath a fucking doghouse? Oh. Also, another thing that's really cool about this area. Um. Something that's really cool about that area is um, you crouch a little more than you usually would, which is amazing. Because, um, oh god, because um, we don't have a prone option, we just have that normal crouch. So it was really cool to see him like actually go down a little bit more. And we can infiltrate up here. God, that doghouse was such a surprise. Something that I really appreciate is, uh... Oh, there's our way out. I think the stealth drop in this game is much better. Oh, man, okay. <laughs> um... 
Oh, this is great. This is this is great. I can wait for the turret to curve around and swap turn. Oh, I can't swap turn this gap. Okay. Interesting. We'll turn off the power to the whole place, and that'll bring. The TV is off. Check the generator. Oh, okay. Oh, the TV. I thought that was going to turn off more than that. Who's coming for it? Is this guy going in? We've been having some serious power shortages lately. Are you sure it's not just this light that's the problem? Ah, uh, God, this makes this is so annoying. Yeah, it was off. Hurry up, it's starting. Oh, God damn it. Go away. Oh, is he moving? He is moving away. Cool. Nice. So that's how to get him to actually leave that area, that's cool. I'm glad that that turret didn't shoot me. Oh! Security stage increased. Oh no, oh. Alarm stage one. Sam, don't be detected. Fuck. Fisher, you are paid to be invisible. I didn't even see that until it was too late. Let me in. Fuck. That's annoying. Alright, the alarm stage has increased. We almost nailed that one without any alerts. That was that was fun. That was fun. Okay. Actually. Just in case. Who knows? Alright, where are we going? Are we going up or down? down to the basement, right? Because we got to infiltrate the caves. GPS shows you're a stone's throw from the control room. Walk softly and use that technician. If you raise the sub yourself, you're going to bring up a lot of Dara Dan Doa, who won't be happy to see you. You're underestimating my charm. Security stage decreased. Security stage back to normal. Okay, it seems they've gone back to normal. I heard. All right. Hello. Something's moving. Oh, yep. Oh, um. Yep. I am not in pitch black. So why I can't you can't always trust the, the night vision as much as you want to sometimes, I guess. I was just like, can I stand right here? No. I'm going to remove you from the equation, sir. Are you okay with that? We're just gonna go and sit in the nice little naughty corner. Nice and naughty in the same word. Nice little <coughs> naughty corner. The naughty little naughty corner. In you go. Curl up like the baby you are. Now this dude, on the other hand, I feel like he's too distracted on the computer. That we should be able to just... Yum. Too distracted on that computer. Kids these days, so absorbed in their monitors. It's definitely a stealth pipe. I can't get it. We can't get up to it. I really miss wall jumping. Because they, they've ch changed it so you can, you know, get into, like, doorways where you can kind of climb up and get into windows and stuff, but... They just got rid of the standard wall jump. Which removes a lot of like, traver cool traversal abilities, I think. Alright. 
We only have one option. I feel like I could shoot this, which would cause a distraction, which would make this guy go, Oh my god, what's going on? Or I could just shoot this light instead. That'll bring him in. To come and investigate. The light broke. Stare at it more, why don't you? Actually, you know what? Fuck that. I don't even need to take him out. Must have been nothing. Just let him fucking exist. Just let him go. Because we're in here now. Then he'll go back to his computer. Oh, oh, showing restraint. Showing restraint. Sometimes... They're better left alone. I'm gonna just grab this guy. Can I interrogate you? Yes. Hi. How's your English? Super! Super! Super. I need you to raise that submarine. Why? Because hurting people ruins my sweet disposition. Ah. Uh, yes, yes, right away. Thanks. Hmm? You're welcome. Please, don't hurt me. Um. Yeah. Did he just activate an alarm or is he raising the submarine? Nice. He's just like, you activate an alarm, you douchebag. Thanks, buddy. It's the slowest. Garrett, what's going ever. on? We weren't supposed to surface for another four hours. Garrett, are you there? Answer me if you're there. Otherwise, I'm pulling the alarm. Tell him we're kosher. What? Tell him nothing's wrong. Okay. There's no problem. I had a warning light flash on the ballast tanks. I'll put you back under as soon as they're fixed. Copy that. Thanks. Thank you, buddy. What more do you want from me? Nothing, but I am going to put you in the naughty little naughty corner. Good night. Okay. Let's go back to infiltrating the caves. Um... Can we go through that door that was previously jammed then? Because that looks like it goes out that way. Otherwise... Damn it, should have taken that guy out. Because <laughs> now i got to go back out there. Fuck. It's come back to bite me in the ass. Alright. I should have just taken him out. Who is that? Come on out. Come on. Why am I not in pitch darkness right now? Why, light meter? Why? Oh, man. Okay, turn around. And... Jingo. You're asleep. You're asleep. And I'm getting out of here. Okay. Oh, actually, is it this door? Oh. oh, hang on. This is just a... Storage room. Okay. Can I go in this door now? Yes. Ah, it just takes me into the next level. There you go. Perfect. Back in it.
Why did it play the? Why did it play that sound effect? Agency file on the Sisixis. The Special Intelligence Satellite Submarine Information Exchange System is an over-the-horizon targeting communication system developed to complement low-frequency links. Unlike General Service SXISX, this system provides complete privacy to any number of users by utilizing unique ID numbers. All communication are transmitted by Squirt Broadcast, allowing multiple subscribers to share satellite resources. A Sisixis network can spread itself over any number of satellites. Quoted from the manual, Squirt Broadcast, she makes me laugh. <laughs> We love making a girl squirt broadcast in this place. Should be able to just hang from here, right? Whoop. And then drop. Go for a swim. Oh, shit. Oh, okay. I'm gonna just... I feel like we'll just be okay to just... Okay, let's do the headlamp over there. We're just gonna put you in this corner. Okay. Just gonna put you over here. In the naughty little naughty corner. Whether it varies between being safe or not, so fuck it. We'll just see what happens. We'll fuck around and find out. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm gonna put you right here instead. Because apparently this is the sweet spot. Even though, to my eyes, this does not look like pure darkness. Oh! Oh, I didn't realize you could just drop bodies. If you aim. See, this is pure darkness, right? But apparently this is also pure darkness. Right there. It's very, very strict. Like, one step out of that pure blackness. And you are... done. I feel like this dude's gonna turn around and see me. I just shoot him in the head <laughs> with a sniper. Turn around, buddy. Turn around, buddy. Um... I'm going to be invisible in this lift. You can't see me. Stealth lift. Oh, okay. This is... Mm. Oh, I'm being shot at. Good. Oh, I'm on a railing. I didn't even know there was a railing here. I was about to just ha try and hang from the... What the fuck? Oh, this is so cool. Grim's daughter's got her hands on What the fuck? I was just trying to hang from the elevator itself to see if I could hide. You're going to be outmanned and outgunned. Oh, that was so cool. <laughs> no shit. What the fuck? That's so cool. That was really lucky, because I had no idea that there was a fucking... That's cool. So you could drop down and it will be on this bridge, or you can just take a fucking- oh god. I'm just admiring the fucking- Just admiring the traversal that I just did. I don't know where I'm going, dude. Maybe I was seeing things. Okay, so the lift stops up there. There you go. So we've just taken a bit of like a, a shortcut. There's somebody there. Uh. No, there is not. You made that up in your mind. We're getting into the sub. Accidental zipline. All part of the plan, baby. <laughs> All part of the plan. Access the submarine's command center. And any incident inside the submarine will mean mission failure. Okay.
any incident inside the sub. I'm just gonna lie down for a few minutes. Give a shout if anybody's coming. Sure. Sweet dreams. Shut this door so I can get in there. Alright, dude's going to sleep. Any incident. God damn. Which means I'm taking no chances and everyone's going to sleep. I don't think I have fifth freedom, right? I don't. I can't kill them. I'm assuming uh, that would classify itself as an incident. Can I turn off the steam, or is it non-lethal steam? Non-lethal steam. Video games have cursed my sort of uh, <laughs> view on steam coming out of pipes. I'm like, this is going to do damage to me. All of them do. Which bed are you sleeping in? That one. Why would you sleep with the mask on? It just seems like very suffocating, like... It doesn't seem like you'd want to do that at all. How many levels is... is oh, dude, why would you not stay stealthed after getting off the ladder? Fuck. Oh, shit. That's, that's rude. Stop searching for what you will not find. Okay, just always need to remember to re-crouch. There's nothing here! You're just gonna stand there? How dark is that? Ah, oh, cool. Ah. Wait, what? Uh, what the hell is that, Fisher? The mission's over. I was pressing the right trigger. Like, this is what I do just to be safe every time. Is when I'm approaching a body, I do this so it does it right at the very first point that you're able to. And for some reason, it just didn't smack him. That's never failed me before. Any time that I approach someone with a grab or a smack in the head, I'm always I'm either doing this or I'm tapping the A button. So as soon as it pops up, there's no risk of me bumping him first. Unfortunately, it looks like it didn't work at a side angle. Give a shout if anybody. But he really just has to be standing there like that, doesn't he? Well, we could always do that. I wonder if we can... There's somebody there! Whistle on that side. He'll walk out and go towards the whistle. And then we... Smack him in the back of the head. I'd love that they added a whistle. Hope that lunch was nice. Prepare to get chucked in the... Weird laundry food section. What is... what? That's so weird. Why is this even a counter? Like, look at this. I can't even walk in there. That's terribly put together. I want a refund on this submarine. I don't even know if this is the right way to go. Oh, hang on, it's the only way to go, isn't it? That was a dead end to the other side. Never mind. God. Did not mean to run. Okay. Every door is a mystery door. I don't know if I can destroy these lights. The Colonel is the only one able to enter the 666 room via retinal scanner. R recognition? Recognition, maybe? 
So many uh, spelling mistakes in in this in this Splinter Cell game. Oh, oh, oh! I think this is the Colonel. I think he has a nice hat on. So I'm just gonna we're just gonna grab him. He's got the special hat on. Grab. You are mine, sir. Okay, let's go for a retinal scanning adventure. He's also got a satchel. Nice. Alright, sir. Stay calm. Oh. Aha. And yeah. Get retinal scanned. Known kernel. Cool. Now I'm going to bring you in here. And I'm going to knock you out. Bonk. I'm going to go down a cup of coffee. I'll be back in a few minutes. Oh shit, there's people in here. Oh, no. sh oh shit, there's people in here. It's too sensitive for us to drink in here. Uh. Bruh. Okay. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Shit. Goodbye, cat. Expect the call. The last insurance policy is active. USPMC is in place. Sedona can add it to his roster of PT phone calls. Goodbye, cat. Access the command center. And we're in the... We're in the 6 of 6 room. Alright. And that dude's gonna get coffee. And he's using his little computer. We're gonna have to guess which one of these computer. Ah, oh, this one. Can I use it, or should I get the guy to use it? I might get the guy to use it because I don't know how any of this shit works. You're gonna use it, okay? Because I might press the wrong button. I'm not very good with computers, sir. Okay? And if you can't use it, then I'm gonna knock you out. Use it. Okay, looks like I can use it after all. Good night. You never know. Good thing I know how to use computers after all. Great work, Fisher. What do we got, Grim? Just need to find the terminal's ID number. There. Looks like we've got five subscribers. Satellite phones. Five subscribers? US numbers? Yeah. Echelon's linking them to a private military corporation. Something called Displace. We'll run a cross-check on their recent contracts. Five PMCs line up pretty nicely with our five pox boxes. What's my part? Amityville time. Get out. If we got the pox boxes, then there's nothing stopping us. The Joint Chiefs will want to move fast. Rendezvous with Cohen. It's about time you introduced yourself to Sedono. Ooh, okay. Go to the extraction point. We out. Uh, maybe this way? Can I get it- can I get extracted out this way? I'm holding off a sneeze. Okay, no. Oh, yes. We need to have a splinter cell game where it's tied to your, your microphone at the same time. So I can detect the noise you make in real time, which means I would have to play this game in complete silence <laughs> and never talk. And then I'm more so talking like on a level that could like detect sneezes and stuff. Or coughs or anything. Alright. Oh, I guess we're extracting on here. Can I just... What is that? No. Ooh. Are we about to have a forced combat segment? Because there's shit here. Alright, we got smoke grenades. I probably shouldn't have ran. Oh, probably should not have ran. Uh, quick hang from the thing. Oh! We got, we got a lot of stuff. I want to grab his leg and just throw him down. <laughs> yeah. Oh! 
That sucks. Don't shoot. Don't shoot, I'm not even here. That does suck. Um, you right there, buddy? Yeah, that's really important. I thought he was going to keep walking. He doesn't know that I'm here, obviously. I'm completely invisible. I'm completely invisible. He doesn't even know that I'm here. He'll lose... Oh. He doesn't even know that I'm here. I'll take it, dude. I just look at I just slipped into complete darkness. There you go, chief. That man literally went, "Oh, I guess he's gone." Oh, this is a pure darkness spot. That's why. That's so funny. <laughs> that man was so shocked to see me. Well, that's funny. That's funny. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh. Forced combat segment? Is it... Yeah, this looks like it's a scripted... This is why we have so many smoke grenades. Otherwise, I'm not sure that this would... Because the alarm thing settled down. Ah, uh, no, it's the pistol. Um, I can't shoot the smoke grenade around a corner. I wish I could sh change the, uh, the the shoulder that you're aiming down. Let's do it this way instead. Ah, oh, I took a bullet. Go to sleep, my friends. Go to sleep. Get him. I'll see if I can get him in the head. Let me get killed. I'm trying to just zap him. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah. Smoke grenades it is. Why didn't that go further? Yeah, damn. Fucking hell, it didn't. Alright. Trying to see if I could do it non-lethal, but some people gonna have to die, I'm afraid. Some people gonna have to die. Oh, while you're breathe, that makes sense. Oh god! All right, I got him. While obviously you're breathing, you can't, um, move from there. I can't see your head. Oh, I just missed again. Come on. This is just a game of who kills who first at this point. Gotcha. How to waste all my smoke grenades. I tried. We knocked two out and killed another two. <laughs> a, a little tiny forced combat segment, I think. Nice. Here's my little extraction boat. Get me out of here. Flawless. Mission complete. Nice.
Wonderful. All right. That was a fun little submarine mission where there was a mixture of jungle village and submarine. And I quite liked it. The traversal was good. Uh, the submarine level was not as good as the the one in the Splinter Cell 1 DLC because like having a full level dedicated to the submarine and there were so many levels to it and uh, it was great. This one was a bit of a, a downgrade to the original submarine level, but it was still fun and I think we handled it pretty well. I liked it a lot. I uh, hope you enjoyed this episode of Splinter Cell Pandora tomorrow where next time we'll see where the mission takes us. Apparently it's time to meet Sedono face to face. So we'll be doing that one next time. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you then.